welcome back weirdos and weirdos to the channel of the Dungeon Doge. So today I was working on a track called Scarred. It's just making a back of it up on it. A backup of it right now. Uh still exporting. While I was exporting I thought I should show you a little trick I found. Uh to create like a spacey kind of space radio sound. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, uh here's a quick audio example so you know the kind of sound you're making. So that's the kind of sound you'll be making. That's um sorry for the drop down in the middle. Um but yeah. Now this is done mainly using cut off. Now this is not actually my usual setup, what's going on here. I just rearranged this to make it look all nice, so just a sec, I'll go put everything back where it was. Right, so all you need to do this trick is actually just an oscillator or probably three since there's a lot of there's a three times oscillator that just creates white noise and a low pass filter now since the FLS 12 version of the three times oscillator doesn't have um, a white noise option anymore I'm going to be using GMS but if you're using FL Studio um, 11 you should be able to um, recreate it with the white noise like effect just on three times oscillator if you add a pretty fast LP to it on the mixer, but anyway, keeping it the way I'm doing it. Um, first of all, I'm just going to put a little step there, get the basic GMS sound. But if we turn up this noise knob to 100, we get white noise. If you didn't know, that's what not right noise is. Now to do this, we need resonance at full all the time. This is the low pass filter over here, and you'll get this sound. Now if we move around the cutoff. Now, that is literally all you need to do. I just created a bunch of automation clips to make it all form so. But, um, I'm going to show you how I'm pretty sure this works. So, I'm not exactly sure what resonance is, but I have a vague idea. I know that cut off is where, on a low pass filter, is where it cuts off higher frequencies. Like, and when it's at full, it doesn't cut off any. Resonance, I think, is where it concentrates the frequencies to where the cutoff point is so basically we're moving the frequencies of the white noise around I'm just going to show you that with the parametric equaliser watch the little orange beam and watch how, how it moves around when I move the cutoff knob if I can get this in a good place So that is all you need to do to make it, just use that and then right click, create automation clip and you'll be able to um, mess around with it. But if in case you wanted to do the stuff I was doing, I did a little bit of extra stuff. So first of all I obviously got the percussion, which I got some mixer tracks on, but I'm going to guess you already know how that works. Um, I've also, but also, I messed around with the master volume because this is quite a quiet thing and for the audio example I like had to make it the main instrument. To do that what I did was I basically just increased the decibels of it with Maximus and stuff. Just a And I also turned up the master volume because it was quite full. Yeah, there's Maximus. And I got a bright and a warm reverb there. Here's the because that's the first, like, that's the beginning, the beginning doesn't need to be loud. But yeah. Um, last thing I need to explain really is over here is a flanger and a phaser mix envelope. That is for the master volume. At the beginning there's a flanger and a phaser on literally everything. So if you watch, those knobs are automatically turning. Now if you didn't know what these mix knobs do, basically, they're automatically at 100 when you turn the effect on. When you put an effect on, you can determine how much the effect, like, does its effect. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. Um, 
with that, so I make it so at the beginning there's a bit of flying you phase that fades away, and just at the end it starts to come back. So anyway, that's pretty much everything. Um, oh, since I've got some spare time, I think I'll just show you the, what I mean by the FL Studio 11 way. So here we are in the old school FL Studio 11. If we go over to channels, add one three times oscillator. There's a noise option here. Now there wasn't one on in FL Studio 3. You don't really know why. So now we can make the white noise sound. I'm explained. And this is really the only confusing part about it. That the only part where people might get confused. Um, there isn't a low pass filter here, so people might be thinking I've messed up. But I mentioned that fruity fast LP3 thing. If you assign it a mixer track and go on to here, there should be something called fruity fast LP. There it is. It might not be there. I know in Apple Studio 12 for me it wasn't there. So you need to go on more and search for plugins. Um, and then it should be there and just tick the box on it and you should get it. So now, which this is basically the same as it is on GMS except for it's just, you know, on a different GUI. So it's going to sound like... You can do just the same effect on Apple Studio 12 with three times oscillator if you want to. So anyway, that'll be it for my video for now. Oh, <laughs> sorry, just a sec. Um, so, if you like this video, I will do more tutorials, and um, please don't forget to scrub scribe. Bye.